things change in Millie and Molly's town. There was a time when the ferryman didn't even have Bosun, his cat, to keep him company. Would you be wanting to ride on my ferry, Molly? No, thank you very much, Mr Ferryman. I just like to watch. That's a lovely pussycat you have there. His name's Tomcat. Would you like to pat him? Oh, I would indeed. I like cats. <laughs> There's a good pussycat. But lots of things changed when Marmalade and Tomcat had a family. Kittens! Marmalade's a mummy! Oh. Hmm. And Tomcat's the daddy. This was the very beginning of Millie and Molly's friendship. But Marmalade and Tomcat's family gave them a problem to solve. Keep them here. But, Mum! No, Molly. We live in an apartment. We barely have room for Tomcat. Oh, It's all right, Molly. I'm sure I'll be able to keep them at my place. No way. No more cats. But, Dad... It's bad enough I have to put up with marmalade without a house full of the things. They're not things. They're... You know I only put up with marmalade for your sake, Millie. You can find new homes for the kittens. Well, can they stay here until we do? Mm, I don't know. Please? I suppose so. Thanks, Dad. Thank you. There won't be any trouble. <laughs> <gasps> Just keep them away from me. So Millie and Molly tried to find nice homes for the kittens. Don't too much. You'll frighten the wee little things. I like this one. Can I have her? For sure, Tom. Anyone else like to keep one? They're free. No, I, I have a dog. I'm afraid just about everyone already has a pet, Molly. Well, what about you, Miss Blythe? Would you like a kitten of your very own? Sorry, Millie, but my budgie might object to having to share me with a cat. You'll have to find them homes elsewhere. I've got an idea. Put them in a box and float them off down the river. <gasps> That's horrible, Humphrey. Oh, can't you take a joke? It's not a very funny joke, Humphrey. Poor little kittens. Don't you pay any attention to Humphrey. We'll find you all nice homes. Yeah. But Millie and Molly weren't in any hurry to part with the rest of the cute little kittens. They liked to pat and stroke and play with them. We could call this one Tiger because of his stripes. One day, maybe he'll grow up to be a real wild tiger. Rawr! <laughs> yeah, and this one's exactly like Marmalade. Is there a name we could call her that's like Marmalade but isn't Marmalade? What about Mandarin? That sounds good. Marmalade and Mandarin. Oh, look at that one. <laughs> it's trying to knit something. <laughs> the longer they looked after the kittens, the fonder they grew of them. Millie even began to hope that her dad would get used to the kittens and let her keep them all. What's this? Millie? Now, where am I supposed to sit? Sorry, Dad. I've told you before I don't like cats, especially cats in my chair. I thought you were trying to find homes for these kittens. We are. Hmm. Well, you need to try a little harder. Now, I'm going down to the river to cheer up the ferryman who's feeling a bit lonely. And when I come back, I don't want to see any cats anywhere near my chair. Right? Yes, Dad. He might still change his mind and let us keep them. <laughs> No, I'm not all right. I've just tripped over the kitten's basket and hurt my leg. Oh. Mm. Oh. Oh, what the... What's this? Oh, that's the milk for the kittens. Cats again. Now, I'm going to change my pants, find a walking stick and go and see the ferryman. And you girls, you are going to find the kittens' homes by the end of this week or I will do something about it myself. <gasps> this week? Millie and Molly had to try extra hard to find the kittens' new homes if they were going to do it by the end of the week. Well, I can take one of these. This one's cute. That's Tiger. 
You will find him a nice home, won't you? Of course, Millie. And Tiger will make someone a lovely pet. But not everyone's interested in having a pet. I am not interested in having a pet. But they're cute. Cute? What good is cute to me? Well, they keep you company. Company? Why would I need company? I've got my vegetables. Well, sometimes the kittens can make you laugh. Fiddlesticks. I've yet to meet anything that'll make me laugh. And some people didn't have room for pets. I don't have room for pets. But you have a whole farm. That's right, but all my animals are working animals. Even my farm cat earns its way by keeping the mouse population down. And some people were even allergic to pets. Oh, no! I'm allergic to pets! <laughs> Sorry, Mr Bookshop owner. Don't worry, Millie. Molly, I'll be all right. <laughs> But as the week drew to a close, Millie and Molly's persistence did bring some success. I like this little one. Looks like his tail was dipped into a milky coffee or a cappuccino. <laughs> that would make a good name for her. Cappuccino. Ha! The perfect name for a cafe cat. Cappuccino. <laughs> I think she likes that. <laughs> <laughs> And the sign Millie and Molly put up at the vet's surgery managed to find a home for Mandarin. At Maxter's Tree Hut. Did you know this was the best soccer player in history, Mandarin? Mandarin living in a tree seemed the perfect place for a Mandarin. So by the end of the week, Millie and Molly had found a home for all the kittens. All but one. No matter how hard they'd tried, Millie and Molly hadn't managed to find a home for the last little kitten. What are we going to do? Well, um, he could stay in my room for a bit. But what about your dad? Maybe when his leg gets better, he might let me keep just one. It is only one. Millie's dad's leg was soon feeling good again. And he was feeling even better when he noticed all the kittens had gone. But all the kittens hadn't gone. <coughs> Millie was keeping the last little kitten hidden in her room and well away from her dad. Shh, little one. We don't want Dad to hear you. Millie! <gasps> uh, don't come in, Dad. Why? What are you hiding? <coughs> whoa, 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 whoa! <coughs> whoa! That was close. Now, what was that that ran under the bed? Ah! Are you OK, Dan? You haven't done what I've asked and found a home for all the kittens. I have just fallen over and hurt my leg again. I fell face down into the kitty litter tray. And there are things in my hair I can't even bear think about. And you ask me if I'm OK? But, Dad, what are you going to do with the little kitten? I warned you if you didn't find a home for all the kittens, I would do something about it myself. where I should have in the first place. Down to the river. The river! Millie and Molly remembered what Humphrey had said about putting the kittens in a box and floating them off down the river. The kitten was in a box and Millie's dad was heading for the river. The friends knew a shortcut to the river, but could they get there in time to stop Millie's dad? It was still a long way to run to beat a car. And in 
the circumstances, well, I, I just thought it was the best thing to do. Dad! Dad! Too late. Too late? I've already found him a home. Huh? Don't you two worry. This little kitten's going to have the best home ever, keeping me from being lonely on my ferry. Hooray! <laughs> and that's how the ferryman came to have Bosun, who grew up and kept the ferryman company his whole life. How Boson got the scar over his eye? Well, that's a whole other story. One lovely day, Millie and Molly were in the park playing hide and seek when they saw their classmate, Chloe. Hi, Chloe. Nice pony. Prince, isn't it? Hi, Millie. Yes, his name's Prince. <laughs> Nice prince, nice boy. Wanna pat him, Molly? I'm not sure. Does he bite? Of course not. Just be gentle. <laughs> Down, prince. Steady boy. Molly, you should never scream around ponies. Don't you know that? Sorry. Come and visit prince one day, Millie. OK. Let's play hide and seek, Millie. You're it. OK. <laughs> While Millie counted, Molly saw the perfect hiding spot. But she wasn't the only one who thought it was a good place to hide. Hey, little cat. What are you doing under here? Ready or not? <gasps> You're hurt. Poor thing. The girls wasted no time getting the injured cat to the vet. She was probably hit by a car. She's lucky, really. It could have been much worse. Will she get better soon? Hmm, she should be walking again in a week, if she gets the proper care. But what will happen to her now? Well, she has no name tag. So tomorrow she'll have to go to the pound for stray cats. The pound? Oh, Molly, you're a softie. We can't possibly have all the town stray cats living in this small flat. There'll be no room left for us. But Dad, she's only one little cat and she can't go to the pound while she's sick. The vet said she needs lots of care and attention. Please? Well, you can keep her till she's better, OK? <gasps> What do we call her, Millie? She's got a black coat, as black as the inside of a chimney. <laughs> How about Sooty? Sooty. <laughs> she seems to like it. <laughs> oh. Nice, Sooty. Good girl. I'm so glad we saved her from the pound, Millie. Yeah, but only for a week. So we have to find her owner before then. Uh -huh. Tomcat. Come and meet Sooty. She's your new friend, and I want you to be really nice to her. I think they like each other. Tomcat, be a good boy. Despite Tomcat's strange behaviour, the girls needed to concentrate on finding Sooty's owner. So they put up posters all around town. Molly even showed a poster to her class. She's cute and black coloured like this picture. Millie and I have to find her owner before a week's up. So please ask everybody you know if they've lost a cat. Thank you, Molly. She looks like a bonny wee cat. OK, class, it's free reading time. So everyone choose a book to share with a friend. Yeah. 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 Millie and Molly loved free reading time because they could read their favourite book together. So Molly was surprised to see that Millie was already reading a book with Chloe. This one is Piebald and this one is Brindle. What's this book? It's Chloe's book about horses and ponies. And this one is brown, just like Prince. Hmm. What kind of pony is that? It's not a pony, Molly. It's a donkey. E-R-E-R. -E -R. Molly tried to join in, 
But it felt like Chloe only wanted to be with Millie, so she decided to read by herself. But Millie still did things with Molly. That afternoon, the two girls went to look after Sooty as usual. But they found someone else in Sooty's bed. <gasps> Tomcat! That's not your bed! You naughty! Tomcat! Where's Sooty? Hmm? <gasps> Come on out, Sooty. Don't be afraid. Did Tomcat take your bed and make you sleep under there? Poor Sooty. What's wrong with Tomcat? Doesn't he know Sooty's sick? Look, Molly. She's walking. She's starting to get better. Good girl, Sooty. But we haven't found her owner yet. But what else can we do? What if she doesn't have an owner? Then she'll have to go to the pound for sure. I hope so. Millie, Millie, want to learn a new clapping game? Uh, OK. A little playmate, come and play with me. And bring your dolly three. Climb up my apple tree. Slide down my slippery slide in my cubby door. And we'll be jolly friends forever more, 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 more. <laughs> <laughs> well, a big clap for Millie and Chloe. Well done. Molly tried hard to smile. But she couldn't help wondering why Chloe was being so friendly to Millie. Millie was supposed to be Molly's best friend. And Alf, and Poppy, and Tom and Jack, and Millie. And that's all. What is it? It's an invitation to Chloe's birthday party on Saturday. It's a pony riding party. Wow! Didn't she give you one, Molly? Not only did Molly miss out on an invitation, she was the only girl in their class who Chloe didn't invite. Now she knew for sure that Chloe wanted her out of the way so that she could steal Millie. On the morning of the party, Molly felt hurt, left out and friendless. Hello? Hi, Molly. It's Millie. I'll come around after the party to help you look after Sooty, OK? No thanks, Millie. I can look after Sooty by myself. What's wrong with Miss Molly today? Millie and I aren't friends anymore. Not friends with Millie? How can that be? And soon, Sooty will be better and she'll have to go to the pound. Oh, Molly, don't cry. It can't be all that bad. Molly decided to cheer herself up by cooking chocolate cake. Molly's mum was at work all day. Molly's dad was practising yoga in his brand new yoga outfit. And Tomcat... Tomcat had mischief on his mind. Oh, no! Tomcat! <gasps> Gotcha now, Tomcat. You can run, but you can't hide. Oh, Look out! Sorry. Is he under here? Oh, Tomcat's left a mess under the bed. Tomcat! Right where Sooty made her new bed. He wants to go wherever Sooty goes. Why is Tomcat behaving so badly, Dad? He really isn't himself lately. Maybe he's jealous of Sooty. Do you think so? Yes. He might not understand what's happening. All he knows is that a new cat's turned up and she's getting your love and attention. Tomcat? There's no need to be jealous of Sooty. I know I'm looking after her but I still love you. You're my own special cat and you always will be. Silly Tomcat. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> if that's true, then maybe, just maybe, Millie still loves you just as much as she did before Chloe came along. Oh, no! I've been jealous just like Tomcat. Do you think I should call her? Now, there's a good idea. Oh, Tomcat! That's my new yoga suit! Did you have fun at the pony party? Yeah, it was fun, but it would have been more fun if you were there. Oh, Millie, I'm sorry about before. I was really jealous of you and Chloe being friends. Well, Chloe is my friend, but you're my best friend. And we'll be best friends forever. <laughs> Mr Bus Driver? Are you the ones who found the cat? It looks just like my cat. She went missing a week ago. <coughs> oh, Gertrude, it is you! You're safe! Thank goodness! Thank you, thank you, girls, for looking after us so well. That's OK, but she really needs a name tag. <coughs> Well, bye, Gertrude. We'll miss you. Bye. Thanks. And I'll get that name tag. Hooray! We found Sooty's owner. You mean Gertrude, don't you? <laughs> I think Sooty suited her much better. Well, hello, Smelly Puss. Decided to be nice now. <laughs> Millie, can you teach me that clapping rhyme you learnt from Chloe? Sure. It's easy. Oh, little playmate, come and play with me and we'll be jolly friends forever more, 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 more. <laughs> <laughs>
disgusting. No, not that. She knocked the vase over. It's just water. The vase? There's water everywhere. At least the birds are safe, Dad. Yes, but for how long? The next day, Molly was taking Tomcat for a walk and tried to sneak past Snippy Aunt Maud without being seen. Ah, just the person I want to see. I've got an important job that wants doing. I need you and that cat of yours, and Millie and her cat. I've got a terrible outbreak of mice in my garden shed, and I want your cats to hunt them. Well, all right? Yes, Aunt Maud. Over at Millie's house, Marmalade was going the right way to cause more trouble. right here. Millie, where's the remote? Um, I don't... <coughs> Marmalade, naughty cat! That cat again? Here, Dad. Oops. No. <sighs> it might still work. <laughs> belong together. <laughs> Millie and Molly were on their way to Aunt Maud's to help with her mice crisis. Do you really think that Tomcat and Marmalade can help? But Millie couldn't get her mind off what Dad had said about Marmalade and the birds not belonging together. I just wish I'd never given Dad that stupid bird bath. Then he wouldn't be so angry with Marmalade. Now all the trouble is inside this shed. if not thousands. Mm, did you see them? No, but you can tell by all the damage the wretched pests have done. Have you found anything yet? No. Oh, wait. That's it. Look. The hole where the mice are getting in. Yes. So now we put a cardboard box over it, shut the cats in the shed overnight, and when the mice try to escape through the hole, they'll end up in the box. And now for sports with Jimmy Jingle. Strong gusty northerly winds ahead of a cool change. Rain at times clearing to a fine day. The outlook for the next week. It's so peaceful around here. You mean without marmalade? It's just cats and birds. They don't really get along together, do they? So you think marmalade should stay at Aunt Maud's? Now that's a thought. The next morning, Molly was eager to see if the mousetrap had worked. The cats are fast asleep. They must have been exhausted from chasing all those hundreds of mice. Well, I certainly hope so. Millie, let's check the trap. OK. But all Millie could think about was being parted from marmalade. Thousands of mice. No. Brian and Bryony. 
Brian and Bryony? Harry's pet mice. He just lives down the street. What? Two tiny pet mice did all that damage? <laughs> Tomcat, you big brave hunter, trapping all those mean, scary mice. Marmalade, I miss you so much. Well, they certainly deserve their milk. Then I'll take you to the pet shop. Buy a gift each for your cats. That's very kind, Aunt Maud. Fiddlesticks. The cats did a good job. Perhaps one of them could stay here. Permanently. No. Tomcat and I, we belong together. Millie, that marmalade cat would be useful around here. Um... I... Uh, I'll think about it. You do that. Door when I put their quilt in. They look so happy to be home. I thought I'd never see them again. It was awful not having my pets here with me. So from now on, Harry, you should take better care of them and keep them under control. Later that morning, Aunt Maud took Millie and Molly and Marmalade and Tomcat to the pet shop. I think Tomcat wants this fairy ball. Millie, what does Marmalade want? I haven't got all day. Looks like she wants a bungee for morning tea. Marmalade, naughty cat! Well, come on, pick something out. Hey, did you see what those birds did when they heard that bell? Yes. Why? I think Marmalade has just found exactly what she needs, Aunt Maud. But Millie, the beautiful bird, it looks like it's about to become that cat's lunch. Just wait. And see what happens. Oh, <laughs> saved by the bell. So, Dad, can Marmalade stay? Mm hmm. I hadn't even thought about her moving to Aunt Maud's till you suggested it. Really? I know how much she means to you. And now we can all get along together. Ha, 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 ha.